What is going on everybody? Welcome back to my Super Mario Galaxy 2 Let's Play. So on the last part we got the three more stars we needed to unlock this path to the final boss galaxy. There it is, that giant Bowser head. Alright, oh, we do we have a cutscene? I guess we do have a cutscene. Alright, time for the grand finale, Captain. Things just got real within two seconds. Somewhere in there. Your princess is waiting. What a surprise. It's a comet. Looks like power stars weren't the only things getting eaten up around here. It looks like Bowser wants to get even bigger. That's what she said. You'll need to stop that monster before he devours everything in his path. I'm sorry I had to say that. Get in there and show him what you got. So that comet, I'm pretty sure, is actually the Comet Observatory? I don't know. I don't know. Um, but anyways, here it is. Bowser's Galaxy Generator. Let's go. Things are going to get intense. Bowser's Fortified Fortress, the final mission. Alright. So even the background, it's just like a giant fortress. It's like we're actually inside the giant Bowser head and it's just that huge because the scale from like the galaxy icon to the actual galaxy, if it's that big then just imagine that. Holy jeez. So what's up here? Some extra life? Yes. Probably going to need it. This stage is going to last about 20 minutes. Uh, yeah, probably like 15 to 20 minutes. So let's just jump on through here. Alright, go get him. I will. Alright, so now I got some hammer bros to deal with. Just get rid of them. Yeah, you can actually like attack their hammer and it will just become a uh, star bit. Have we seen them yet in this game? Yeah, I, I bet we have, you know, at least once we had to. I just can't remember. Probably another boss galaxy somewhere, probably like the World 2 boss. Alright, so we actually get a dandelion, or whatever this is, this flower. Was this even in, like, the game anywhere, or is this just another, uh, another new thing? Can't tell. So these fire shooters, I think that's the first time the fire shooters show up in the game, they will actually burn your flowers, so be very careful. Just kind of make your way through nice and easy. Alright. So we are doing this really easily so far, so now I got a spin drill, and yeah. I don't know if the first game- yeah, the first game showed all the power-ups too. And this final boss galaxy is going to do that as well. Even the music is just so intense. So as you can see, you have to like- uh, ouch, ouch. You have to, uh kind of avoid all the, uh, the bullet bills, the giant bullet bills. Alright, that was nice. Let's see, this is probably going to crumble. Or no, it's just dirt, I guess. Right, so you gotta be careful right there. And now, I'm guessing you have to drill through the dirt or something over there. Yeah, I'm guessing you can drill through this dirt. That's what you have to do. Yeah. Alright, so here's the launch star. Let's go. Time to kill some Bowser. We're having some roast Koopa tonight. Alright, so now we're in a 2.5D cylinder. I don't know how I did that. That was nice. Whoa, I just did that. Whoa, that was cool. Alright. We already got some extra life. We don't have to worry about that then. Alright, so you just wanna- whoa, that was- that's not good, that's not good. Let's get ourselves some more clouds. Whoa, there, whoa, whoa, I did that, that was good. I thought I could, like, make a, a cloud as I was doing that, but I guess not. Well, we got our life back anyway, and I just did that. I don't know how, I am speeding through this really easily so far. I'm actually like doing really good. Wow. Okay. I used to suck at this when I was younger, but like I said, I've gotten so much better since four years ago, so I thought the bullet bill would destroy the cloud, but we don't need it anymore because 
go on and save your special one and return us to sa- Yeah, return us to safety. We believe in you. Okay. So that Luma has put all of his trust into me. Let's not let him down. Let's go. So now we got some Yoshi. The second you see the Super Mario World- I'm going through the strings. The second you can see the Super Mario World bridge, you know there's going to be some Yoshi. Like, have you noticed that any stages that have Yoshi in them, they feel like Super Mario World stages. We just- I don't know if that wall hurts you, but that was weird. He, he just kind of jumped over the lava. He almost touched it. His butt almost touched it. Whoa, that's not good. Whoa, that's not good. Where do we go? I think we go down here in the other way now. Yeah, now we go this way. So now Yoshi's getting in on this. Alright, whoa, it's actually sinking. Okay. Alright, so just... Oh, you can actually use that as ammo. That's so cool. I forgot you could do that. I think you could do it with the hammers, too. So now you need to use the dash pepper. I remember I would always hate this part. You need to use the dash pepper and make it through here. Okay, so let's go. And yeah, now they're going to incorporate all the... Uh, the Yoshi power-ups into this too because you can't forget about Yoshi so we got one up from that nice I should just eat that guy up come on eat him up yeah die you stupid magic of whoa that's not cool that's not cool so the comet metals over here or something that was actually really easy okay Okay, so now I got some blimp fruit. And we have to make it out of here. And I believe that's all you have to do, because, yeah, now we'll continue on over here. I thought there was a launch star up, so I almost missed that. That would be bad. But, yeah, here's a checkpoint. I actually made it through that alive. That entire first part. Okay. This is as far as we go. We're all counting on you, Mario. We have faith that you'll beat that monster, Mario. Uh, you will, right? Yes, I will. Oh, Yoshi can't climb up. He's like, goodbye. And I'm like, goodbye. Oh, so that was the entire thing? That was it? Okay, then. I guess I did the final boss galaxy, the actual main stage part of it, within seven minutes without dying. That's the best run I've ever had since I was nine years old. Wow, okay. Let's do that then. And now let's do this. And let's go fry us some Bowser. Let's go. Alright. So we're here at this throne again. Gah, give it up already. Why won't you stop trying to mess up my awesome master plan? I'm building my new galactic empire right here, and you can't stop me. Why don't you just run off and go find some green pipe to hide in? That was a tough burn right there, jeez. Now she's in a bubble. I don't know why, that just happened. That is so random. Can't you see that I'm busy here? Whoa. I don't have time to chat, so let's cut this short. Shorty. Whoa, Bowser is delivering some serious blows to Mario right now, but we're not going to let him get away with it. So the battle is going to start off on a planet like this, but this isn't the entire battle, obviously. So he's going to use his dark Harry Potter powers again and attempt to kill us, but I see he's uh, kind of improved his magic. His spells have gotten a little crazier because now he's going to kind of do that with his darkness so the meteors still make the other uh, waves though okay so let's do this haha <laughs> you stupid reptilian dinosaur whatever you are you're about to die okay I'm sorry I had nothing good to say to him there but we are going to crush his face anyway so in the end does it really matter no Okay. Die, you stupid dinosaur. Whatever you are. Godzilla. I, I can't tell. 
He's like a crossbreed between a turtle and Godzilla. That's what Bowser is. He's what you get when a turtle and a and Godzilla when they mate. So now he's going to try to burn us. Well, he did burn us. That's the first time he's ever done that. I'll give him that. But we're not going to let him get away like that so easily now, are we? Okay. So let's attempt to hit him. Oh, I thought that was going to hit him right there. Like, that would be so cool if it just missed the other one and then hit him. And right, let's just jump our way through. Forget about everything. Let's make Bowser punch right here so I can actually, like hurt him. Okay, so I thought that would break, but, um... Alright, it actually broke through the other one. That was crazy. He needs one more hit, though. Now he's really mad. He is pissed. But we are going to show him just who's the beast around here. Alright. Are you gonna shoot me down with meteors? That's what I thought. Okay. I thought I would triple jump right there. That'd be cool. If I just did that. Haha, you stupid idiot. Alright. Let's kill him. Oh, right in the face. That had to hurt. Oh, he missed it. I thought he was going to get it. I thought that's how he, uh... That's what I thought the second phase was all about. Oh, uh, you thought that was the entire battle. Well, you're in for a surprise. Mario thinks he saved the day. But, in truth. What if Bowser Jr. just pops out and steals it and then uh, he becomes giant? No, that's not what happens. I wish, though. That'd be so funny. So let's attempt to grab that grand star. You thought that was the end, right? He got a, he apparently got another grand star because he was giant again, and then he ate that one too. So now he's very huge. Hey, guess what, Mario? Breathe a sigh of relief because it'll be your last. No, why? Because this is finally the end. The end of you. I thought it was the end of you, but okay. Here it is, the true final battle with Bowser. What you're doing right now, what you are seeing right now is us, right in the hand, holy Jesus. We are flying through time and space, just flying across meteors, killing Bowser with them. That's right, this is, this is really happening. We are flying through space and time, killing Bowser with meteors, over and over again. It is probably the most intense Bowser battle of all time. Oh, it bounced off his shell, Jesus. This is why this is, like, this battle I love so much better than the first one, than the first game. Roar, my powers, gone, my empire, shrinking, my huge cake, never got a slice. Is that it? I thought there would be, like, two or three phases to that, but okay, I guess... Nintendo delivered us a very anticlimactic battle again. Well, not very anticlimactic, just at the end, because you thought there would be two or three phases, but I guess there was only one. But for that moment that you were flying through time and space, killing Bowser, meteor across meteor, that was just amazing. That's why this game, that's why Nintendo's so good. They just, they always deliver the best most intense bosses, even though you're doing the same thing over and over again, just killing Bowser, they make sure that it gets at least a little more intense than the last one every time. So here's Peach riding on the Grand Star. She made it back. That baby Luma, though, that third wheel, though, like, get out of here. Can't you see we're trying to be a little romantic here? Got ourselves a Grand Star, the last Grand Star in the game. I thought it would play like an even longer jingle just for the fact that you got all the grand stars, but I guess not. Got a little storybook cutscene right here. Oh, it's so beautiful. That's the Comet Observatory, definitely. That's probably what was getting sucked in. Yep, 
It is, because I remember from the first game they showed it going through the, uh, it was flying in the form of an orb like that. That's why they call it the Comet Observatory. It doesn't observe comets. It's literally a an observatory in the form of a comet. Triangle, triangle, X, triangle, X, triangle, dash, dash, exclamation mark. I always thought we would meet again. I see they have a little relationship going on here. Whoa, what's this? What is this relationship? Mama! Yep, it's Rosalina. She does appear in this game, but at the ending cutscene. I am Rosalina. I, w I watch over and protect the cosmos. I have been waiting for all of you. Did she die or something? She's like a ghost now. When that evil monster took our star power, I was separated from my precious little one. But I knew we'd see each other again. Because... There's a force that binds us, defying even time and space. Not even the laws of the universe can stop it. Holy jeez. I know its gentle pull would prevail. Let me guess, what is it? Love. It is a desire to be reunited with someone who is important to you. Jeez, we got a little, like, life lesson going on here. That pull is what brought us together. This is the most dramatic Mario yes. game ever. We have come through so much to meet again. This is not some mere whim of the stars. I am sure of that. Mario, thank you for returning this child to me. I will never forget you. Even when I someday become a star myself, I will never forget you, Mario. I thought we already... I thought he said this already, but then he came back, so... Never, ever, I won't forget. He's like, okay, whatever you say. I'm just gonna go kill Bowser a few more times. So this is happening. Yeah, what happens? Okay. May the stars shine down on you. What happened when the, uh, the baby Luma said that in the first game? Well, uh, he showed up, you know, a couple games later, so surprised there's no Mario Galaxy 3. And it's just an endless cycle of Mario Galaxy games, so the little one was reunited with a special someone. I thought that was me. He betrayed me. Like, Mario's smiling, but on the inside he's like, how could he have been, how could he have betrayed me? And he stole my hat, too. And you too, pal, am I right? Since the baby Luma's gone, someone's got to be the third wheel. All right, you two, it's time to get you back to your home planet. I'll say. You thought that was the end of the spaceship doing what it does best? Making that noise and flying through space? Well, thankfully that's the last one. Okay. So now the credits are going to roll, I believe. This has to be the credits. Yep, these are these are the credits. So, um, yeah, we did it. We just beat Super Mario Galaxy 2. Thank you for showing the title right there so I could uh, kind of fit that with what I said. So, um, yeah, that was Super Mario Galaxy 2. And um, I don't know, I don't think there's any, like, after credits cutscene. That's only, like, Sonic or something. So, um... Yeah, that the credits are going to roll, but uh, yeah, we, we killed off Bowser, and the credits are rolling, but this Let's Play still has one more video left to go, because we have unlocked a new world, and that is World S, and this is a special world that you just unlock as a bonus world at the end of the game. And I am actually going to be covering this world, hopefully. Wow, can you believe it? This must be that strange legendary world we've been hearing rumors about. There are even more Power Stars around here. So let's go get them, Captain. Okay, so here we are in World S. I don't know if I actually... Can I do this? Because you need to get, like, five stars for every, uh, galaxy. I don't know if I want to do this, but, um... Yeah, that's, that's a lot of stars. But, um, I don't know. Should I do this? Um, how about, how about I do this galaxy and then that's it? Because this is honestly a lot of power stars that you have to get. You have to, like, get all the stars in the game, so maybe this will be the finale. I was expecting that you just had to, uh, 
I didn't realize you had to get like 100, 110 stars to actually get through all the galaxies in, in this world. I thought it was just a bunch of galaxies that just go in a straight path and you don't have to worry about power stars, but I guess you do, so maybe I won't be able to do it. That actually sucks. Wow, make, a Mar make Mario a star. Okay then, so I'm just going to do this galaxy. And then, uh, that's really it, because I guess, you know, that I, I'm not going to be dealing with that. I want to move on and everything, so, um, yeah, to, like, the, uh, the week-long special that I've been talking about for my channel. So, uh, maybe I'll do it for, like, a, uh, if, I, if I'm in the mood to, maybe I'll do it as, like, a, uh, a, a special for something else. I, I can't think of anything. Maybe, like, a subscriber special if I reach a certain amount of subscribers. But, uh, Bob Board says, Power Star will be here. Okay, then. So this is basically just, like, the planet in the, uh, the first, uh, in the first game. There was, like, that one planet. Ouch. It was, like, that one planet in the first game that just, it was just a, uh, it was in, like, the Toy Time Galaxy. It's even playing the same music. And it just has the, uh, the Mario, the pixelated Mario planet, like, the original Mario. So let's see. All you have to do here is just flip all the panels, though. I believe in the first game it was like silver stars, but now it's, uh, the Comet Metal's all the way over there, but I don't know if there's any panels over there. Ouch! I forgot, there's the laser guys that will shoot you down, so just be careful. Alright, so let's see, let's just do this. Just like as a little extra content. I guess, just to show you what it's really all about. But this, all the galaxies in this world are actually, like, really short. All they do, all, they're just, like, a bunch of all those other bonus missions from the, uh, the first game. They're really just recreations of them. So there's some more panels over here that we just have to hit. Alright. And that is it, we got all the panels. Alright, so now the star's over there. I believe all the enemies shut off. Like the uh, the robot enemy, it shuts off when you get all the uh, when you get all the panels. Hopefully. Okay, let's see. We have to jump over here. Okay, so we got an extra star just for extra content purposes. But I get yeah, that actually sucks. I was looking forward to doing a video or two on the special world, but I guess I'm not going to be able to really. So maybe this is the finale. Unexpected finale. Okay, then. I mean, I guess it's only appropriate because we did beat the game. But I guess just a little extra content can't hurt, so... Yeah, that's really it. We can advance, but we would need three more stars for that. Uh, already? There's a comet there already? Well, that's... It looks like there's a flying snot coming out of it. <laughs> I'm just sorry. I, I, had to, I had to point that out. It looks like there's a flying snot coming out of Bowser's giant head. So, um, it shouldn't be there. It should be, like, it would be cool if it were half destroyed once you beat it, because we did just kill off Bowser. But I guess the place is still there. He just forgot to take it down. So, um, yeah, I guess that's really it for this Let's Play. So, um, you know, let's see. I actually, uh, like, wrote a paper or something so that I wouldn't forget my ending speech for this Let's Play. I'm gonna do that for now. I gotta write down my ending speech so I don't forget it. So, let's see. Let me just stay in here so it's all nice as I read this. Okay. So I wanted to actually mention, once you get all 120 regular stars, there there are green comets that appear around all the galaxies, and they and then uh, they will scatter green stars across all the galaxies. And once you get all 120 green stars, then you uh, I, I think you have to unlock that first. But then there will be a, 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 a like a really special galaxy at the end of World S. But um yeah, that, obviously I can't do that. That takes way too much time. And it's actually kind of like the uh, the first game, where uh, in the first game it was different, though. You had to get all 120 stars with Mario, and then you would un uh, you would be able to get all 120 stars with Luigi, and then you would unlock the special galaxy. But that's like playing all... It's basically like playing the game, the same game twice, but this, they kind of mix it up with the green stars. It's actually really interesting. Sadly, I probably won't even be able to get to that, but um, we all pretty much know what that is, unless you don't know what that, that oh, uh, unless you don't know what that is, then I'm sorry, but um... Yeah, I guess that's really it for this Let's Play, so, um... Yeah, it's, uh, this game, it's a, uh, it's, it's a great addition to the Mario series. As always, every game is usually very good, and, um, definitely get this game. If you have a Wii, if you have a Wii or a Wii U, you, you, you have to get this game, it's just... And, um, what's actually good about the, uh, the Mario Galaxy games is that you don't really have to play the first game in order to understand this game, like, uh... 
this game, Super Mario Galaxy 2, it really isn't a direct sequel to the first game. It's just a second Mario Galaxy game, if you if you get what I'm saying. So, um, yeah, I mean, I would still play both games because uh, they're both really good games. But, um, yeah, it's good how you don't really have to play both. You can play either or first. It really doesn't matter, and you'll just understand both of them. They're kind of both on their own. So, um, yeah, that, I guess that's really it for this uh, Let's Play. So, for my next two Let's Plays, which will come in January... I am going to be playing two retro games, and I bet you guys are really going to like them. They're fan favorites. So, um, yeah, I guess that's it for now. So, uh, don't forget to leave a like if you enjoyed watching this video, and subscribe to stay updated for more Let's Plays in the future. That is all for now. <laughs>